good morning y'all welcome back to my channel um i'm back with a quick word um and that god dropped in my spirit yesterday he said el shaddai and if you watch if you been here for a while you watched a couple of my videos you know that the only name that I call God is God. Like, I know that God has other names, you know. I know that some people call him Yahweh or Jehovah or Yeshua or just... But when I reference God, I say God because just because that's just how I was raised, you know. We don't call God other names. And not saying that I disagree with anybody who call God other names, but I'm just saying, like, me person personally, I, I don't. But yesterday god just randomly dropped el shaddai in my spirit and you know i knew it wasn't me so i had to go and um look it up and el shaddai is translated um god almighty el is translated god and all um shaddai is translated translated almighty so um what god is just saying is that he is god almighty i don't know exactly what it is you're going through but god says that he wants to be el shaddai god says that he's going to show himself as el shaddai in your situation my god god said that he is god almighty and then another um synonym that that i found was overpower my god god said that he's stronger he's mightier than anything than any situation my god god said that he's bending time and days to to make your blessings get to you at the appointed time god said that okay y'all let me tell y'all my testimony real quick so i told y'all i'm looking for a place to move to right let me tell y'all how god worked like i have until monday to get my furniture monday is the last day for me to for me to get my furniture y'all and this is you know friday i have i haven't found nowhere to go yet y'all but don't y'all know that god had this landlord to contact me y'all and i signed my lease on a sunday do you hear me i'm talking about on a day that business that is not even supposed to be taking place y'all but let me tell y'all something about el shaddai god said that he is the he is the almighty god he is the overpower god says that he has the heart of the king in his hand and he said he turns it in whichever way that he sees fit my god y'all god is almighty and when i say that god has the heart of the king in his hand it's whoever that person is in this in this earthly realm my god that that's just holding something that belongs to you or that person who's in charge of that door it could be a judge it could be who, whoever it is my god god says that he has that heart in, in his hand y'all god has the heart of my landlord in his hand and he moved the heart of that man to work in my favor y'all to allow me to sign my lease on a sunday and to move in on monday y'all don't y'all know I was worried about it, my God. But there was a small, still voice in my spirit that said, be still. My God, be still, y'all. Jesus, this is a direct prophetic word for somebody. God said, be still. My God, God reminded me of the book of Ruth. When Naomi told Ruth, be still, because that man is not going to rest until your situation is handled. My God, God said that his hand is on all things concerning you. My God, God said he's establishing you in this season. Y'all, so don't give up. God says that he wants to show himself as God Almighty. My God, I'm talking about the God who sent the plagues on Egypt to free his people, to free his children. My God. God said, trust him. I don't care what it looks like in the physical, y'all. Because literally in the physical, I did not see how I was going to make it. I, didn't, I did not see how this was going to come together. But when I tell y'all, God is El Shaddai. He is God Almighty. He is the overpower. God said he will make something happen when it looks like nothing can happen. 
when I tell y'all this this man had no reason to you know, contact me about business during the weekend, y'all. But when I tell y'all that the favor of God is with us, the favor of God is with us. And his hand is on all things concerning you. All things, all things. His hand is on your house. His hand is on your kids. His hand is on your car. His hand is on all things. His hand is on your finances. His hand is on your bills. His hand is on your husband. His hand is on your dreams. His hand is on your desire. My God. And it is time for your breakthrough. It is time for your breakthrough. So keep standing. God said that he will not rest until that thing is settled. That thing concerning you is settled. God said that he will not rest. My God, y'all, I took it to God and I laid it at his feet. Because I knew that it was out of my hands. I knew that it was nothing I could do because I hadn't did my part. I've been looking for somewhere to go, you know. I had been looking. But at the end of the day, I could not do it. God wanted to show me how powerful he is in my situation. God said that he is El Shaddai. My God. So whoever this word is for, I pray that you take it to God. And say, God, I pray that you show me your strength in my situation. My God. God said that he is a, the great deliverer. Jesus. My God, God said there is nothing too big for him. He said his arm is not too short that he cannot save. My God, Jesus. Do y'all know what God did for the children of Israel? Not only did he deliver them out of Egypt with those plagues, but he split the Red Sea. My God, he made quail rain from heaven. My God. They lacked nothing while they were in the wilderness. Nothing. I pray that this bless somebody, y'all. I'm just getting off work. Um, I just worked a 12-hour shift. I'm tired, but God is good. God can do all things but fail. God can do all things but fail. And somebody needs to know that. God's hand is on all things concerning you. Who? Ooh, ooh. When I say all things, I'm talking about all things. I don't know who you are that feel like it's a specific situation that God cannot handle. Or, you know, whatever it is, God said trust him with it because he wants to show up in your situation as El Shaddai, as God Almighty, as overpower. My God. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.